Hi everyone, it's Lana. Welcome back to my bathroom. Today I wanted to do another blog sale. The last one was so much fun. And the only reason I'm getting rid of these things is because I have accumulated between two houses here in, in Indiana and in Florida, I have got way too much stuff. So I drug some of this stuff back up uh, from Florida because I drove with my two kittens, which if you see them, a random kitten going by, it's Cheeto or Fancy. So let's just get started. I have got so many things. I'm purging myself. I did a complete spring cleaning of every room in my house. I went through each room one day uh, at a time, cleaned out every cupboard, closet, cabinet, and I have got stuff to get rid of. I didn't want to get rid of anything that my husband gave me. Those are family keepsakes forever, but I have a lot of really good stuff. I do take stuff to the women's shelter that I know that they can use, but this stuff is just too good not to share with you and they're, they're good buys. I've been pricing this right just to sell it. So let's get started, okay? First thing I wanted to get rid, not get rid of, but to share with you is a Gucci wallet. I had the Gucci handbag that matched this and I gave it to a girlfriend and she absolutely loves it. It's, um, it's still got the box. This is the little fabric. Um, Thing. It's a great, I just don't, I love my Balenciaga black one. Uh, it's silver, it's got the Gucci logos, all of it, tons and tons of pockets and places to put credit cards, uh, cash, whatever. It's got all of the paperwork, as I said, in here. And uh, I might even have the receipt for that. But it's all Gucci and it is all in perfect shape. Well, uh, no, I wouldn't say this while well, it's in perfect shape because I did use it. There's a couple little places on the corner, I don't know if you can see that, that are a little worn, but it's still a great wallet. It's got a lot, a lot of years left in it. I do take really good care of my things. So, But like I said, I'm pricing these things to sell them. The second thing is, let's go with this. I love this uh, Jimmy Choo bag, I wore it to pieces. It's like a bucket bag. It's got, um, I believe it's snakeskin leather up here. You can adjust the handle, the shoulder strap. It's got the Jimmy Choo here, which, oh my goodness, look at the fingerprints. You can adjust the strap here. Uh, it's got side pockets for cell phones. Inside, it's got so much room. I love this bag. I just simply have way too many handbags. Inside, it's got uh, the, the suede interior with the Jimmy Choo uh, logo inside, tons of room. It's a classic. This bag will take you winter, spring, summer, and fall. It's just a great bag. It's got the distressed leather, and I even have this. I might even still have the original box that I, it came in, um, but I ha even have a sleeper bag, and I am going to put this all on my blog sale. So. I'll put the link to my blog sale below. And I forgot to mention last time, it had been so long since I did the last, the previous blog sale to this one, uh, to the last one. First come, first served. If you could just put your, um, your name, your email address, and I'm using PayPal. I, I, some, Chelsea was her name, bought a pair of shoes. The shoes, I think I put $20 on them. They were a great pair of shoes. It cost me $30 to ship them. So, um, yeah. I, do, I really am going to keep this um, US only just because you can't track it. You can't. I had one issue a long time ago with someone that said that they didn't get it. I found out they did get it. And what a mess, especially when you're, when you're uh, sending stuff international. The next thing I'm going to put on my blog sale are a pair of Louboutins. And I love these. I am a strict size. Uh, between a seven and an eight, these are, so this is a 38, which is like a seven and a half. It's got a very comfortable heel on them. They're Barbie doll uh, pink. I've only worn these a handful of times, as you can see from the bottom. They've been worn, but not much. Hey, Cheeto. Uh, they're a size 38. I got them at Barney's, New York. Um, it says Patton Cashmere 111 pink in size 38 Christian Louboutins. And they're adorable shoes. I just don't, I haven't worn them. Uh, my husband and I went to dinner every weekend. We had a date. I think that's crucial to a marriage to have a date night. We had a date every weekend. We would dress up and put on our best clothes and go to a fabulous dinner. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> so my clothes and my shoes all sit in a closet. I've got probably 30 or 40 Chanel suits in there. If I'm then I've gained some, I lost weight, I lost 40 pounds after my husband died. I've gained some of that back. So these suits are probably a size 
eight or 10 US, which is uh, translates to a 42, 44 uh, Euro Europe. So uh, if, you're, if anybody thinks that they might be interested in some of these Chanel suits, I don't wear them. I probably won't wear them. I can't imagine me going out to romantic dinners on dates every weekend anytime real soon. So that is enough of that. The next thing is another pair of shoes. These are Chanel shoes. And I love these shoes. These are in a size 39, which would, which would completely equate to a size 8 in U.S., these babies, I wore them to pieces, but they go, they're like spectator shoes. They go with everything. Uh, they've got the little laces with the leather ends on them that have the CC logo. I mean it. I wore these to death, as you can see from the bottoms, but I just don't wear them anymore. They go great with a black suit, a white suit, any color suit. They're absolutely beautiful. I love these shoes. I just don't foresee that I would ever wear them. Here's the other one with the little Chanel CC logo on both of the little uh, shoestring ties. I'll show you both. They're just so fun and they're so cute. Not a huge heel. I'm not a real fan of Chanel shoes, but these shoes, I love them. I wore them to pieces. Inside, I've got the sleeper bag, the paperwork, uh, the authenticity, <laughs> the authenticity uh, card, which is a laminated card, and um, more paperwork. You get these things and they come with more paperwork than a a Bentley, I swear. So uh, these Chanel shoes, I, they're going on my blog sale. The first person that grabs those is gonna be, you will love me forever. I know that you will. The next thing is, this is just, I'm gonna price this completely right because I'm never gonna carry this bag again. I loved it, but I'm just not going to. I've got certain signature bags that I carry every single day and that's probably exactly what I'm gonna continue doing. This is a guest bag. It's got a shoulder strap and the little um, tote. It's adorable bag. I, I wore it to pieces. That's why I'm gonna price it right. It's got all kinds of zippers and pockets in it. I'm, I'm geared these days to a more to a, a larger bag. Um, so this just doesn't quite cut it for me. It's a great bag. It does have two little tiny, well they're not tiny, two little boo-boos right there. So that might have been from one of my kittens, actually. My cats are my life. They've become my buddies. So they rule me. I'm, my stuff, is, I put it down here on the floor. So if you see me reaching, that's what I'm doing. The, another thing, the next thing, I got these at Free People. I love these shoes, but I got them one size too small. These are in the size... I believe they're a seven, and I should be wearing a seven and a half or an eight. My feet have gotten bigger. It's like middle-aged spread, but that happens in my feet. I wish I could, could middle-aged spread to my perky butt, but that's not happening. But they are so cute. They have a zipper access in the back. I've always heard it's bad luck to put shoes on the counter, so I'm not doing that. I don't need any more bad luck. They've got these nice little, this is just decoration, a buckle side, a faux. You don't really get into it this way, but you can loosen it up here with the leather shoestrings. A great heel for comfort. They, they're just, they were just too small for me, but they look great with, I wore them with tights and a little mini skirt, or you could wear them, I'm not putting those, I'm putting those on the counter. You could wear them um, with, uh, jeans, shorts, they're just adorable little booties. And like I said, I got them at Free People. I think I paid $325 for these puppies. I just wish I could have made myself wear them. But as I said, things happen. So the next thing I have is a pair. I just, I, okay, I'm gonna explain these. I love these glasses. They're Ray-Ban Clubmasters. I love them. They look really good on. I think they're just, they're great. I wear them in my convertible, but here's the thing. Um, my hair is like my, um, it's like my security blanket. My hair is important to me. So when I take my glasses off, I'm always shoving them up and putting them on my top of my head. Well, these, I can't do that because of the nose pieces. My hair gets caught. I mean, I'm like, ah, and it hurts. So I, I just stick to my Wayfarers. They don't have the nose pieces. I know that sounds so stupid. These have been worn. I mean, I wore them a little bit. They're still in very good shape. It's got all the paperwork the little uh, cleaner, cleaner towel, and the case, of course. And the, like I said, these are Club Masters. I think, I believe, knew they were probably close to $200. I know 
I know that Ray-Ban doesn't give anything away, but I love that Ray-Ban signature. This is a bracelet that I'm going to put on my blog sale. I just don't, I have not worn it for years and years, and it's a beautiful channel set diamond, 100% a real diamonds. I don't know how many there are, I've never stopped to count them. It's got a great little clasp here. Um, with a safety on it so that you will not lose it. I'm just putting it up because I, I gave a lot of my signature jewelry to my granddaughters who are uh, way too young, but they're put in safekeeping for them. This, I only have one, I did them in doubles so they neither one of them feel cheated. This was one random bracelet that, you know, I couldn't give one to one and not the other. So that I'm going to put on my blog sale as well. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And I love the channel setting. And it, fit, it would fit like a size, I have a skinny little wrist, but it dangles. So I, I think it would fit like a size seven and a half wrist. Just like an average size. Okay, the next thing is, I'm going to dig some of this out of here. The next thing is, this is another Gucci. I love Gucci. I've got quite a bit of Gucci. It's got the, the box, the original box, the original paperwork, all of that. The original bag it came in. And this is, I love this little thing, but it just doesn't go on, it just doesn't go on my um, handbag. It's a Gucci keychain. You, you dangle it on the end of your purse and uh, you can hold your keys on it or hold a, um, a little fob off your purse. I just think, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. I love it, I haven't used it, so I'm putting it in my blog sale and hope that it gets a great home with someone that will love it and use it every day because I don't. It's just that simple, I don't use these things every day. The next thing is this Guerlain uh, Terracotta, um, what, do you, what would you call it, I guess bronzer. I am addicted to my Sally Hansen. I'll show you my Sally Hansen. Is, it's dirty, it's messy. I go through these, I put this stuff everywhere. Everybody says, oh, you've got a beautiful tan. No, I really don't. I have a beautiful bronzer and her name is Sally Hansen. It's just not worth it to be. You know, my husband passed away from cancer. I am not a sun worshiper like I used to be. But it's the terracotta bronzer. As you can see, I barely used it. I think I used it twice, like four pumps each time. So it's practically brand new. Uh, I'm just... I just don't want to throw it away. I don't think anyone in a homeless shelter is gonna care about it, so I'm putting it on my blog sale. Um, the next thing is this. I love this stuff. This is my second box. It's called that Ages, Ageless Beauty everyone's talking about. It comes in, I opened it so I can show you, because I used all of mine. Oh well, poop, I dropped it. The, it comes in, there's like 50 packets in each um, box. And what I do is I cut the packet open with a scissors. I only squeezed out about half, it only takes a tiny bit. It's in a gel. I put it like under my eyes. Everybody's like, oh, your neck looks good. Yeah, it's because of this stuff. Put it on my neck. I just have, um, I kind of got away from using it. I don't know why, but I did. And so this one, I, like I said, I just opened this one to sell. As you can see, all of the packets are in there. There's like 50 of them or maybe 75, I don't remember, but I'm going to put it on my blog sale to sell it. It's the Ageless Beauty. It does, really does work. I don't really have bags under my eyes. I don't have a lot of, that uh, vampire facelift thing I got is still working, and I love that. I'm in about, that's been uh, two years ago, In another year I'm gonna go get another one, because I see some things falling a little bit. So, oh, one other thing that I have. This is the last thing, and it is a, I don't know if any of you saw the movie Match Point with uh, Scarlett Johansson. Oh, I, I bet I've watched that movie six times. I don't know why, I just really loved that movie. And in it, she had a handbag. And I was like, oh my God, that handbag is the handbag for me. And I have it in the brown. And I also, I love it in the brown so much, I got it in the pink. Now, I won't do that at all up here, but it's got so many pockets, so many, it's all magnetized, so it's easy to put everything back together. Um, it's got the, it's a mulberry and not the mulberry like they were selling at Target there for a while. This is the real mulberry from England. I, uh, bought it off of the real mul mulberry site in England and I, in the UK, and I love this bag. There's something in there. Um, oh great. There's some Tylenol in there. Uh, it's got 
tons and tons and tons of room. It's got the little mulberry logo, mulberry little uh, studs all over it with the mulberry tree uh, signature thing on there. I don't know what you call that. I guess it's they're just their logo. Tons and tons. It's like a, this one is like luggage. I mean, if you have to fly, you can only take two bags on a plane these days. You could put a lot of stuff in this one and in your um, other carry-on and boom, you've got everything you need. You could put a magazine, your phone, your lunch, so many things. I love this bag. I just think and it looks so classic and classy. So I'm putting that up. I, I do have it in the brown color. I'm keeping that one, but I'm going to get rid of this one, which whoever gets this, you are going to love it. I just don't use it that much. I have used it. As you can see, it has been used. It's not perfect, but it's in very good shape. It really is. And I love this bag. Whoever gets it will love it as well. So that's all that I have for today. I think I've got enough. I've got a closet. I stuffed everything in a closet that I was going to put on my blog. So I think I've got enough for one more good blog sale. Like I said, first come, first served. Tell me what it is that you would like. Uh, leave me your email address. Pay for it through PayPal and boom, I will ship it off to you the very next day. I hope you all have a wonderful day and thanks so much for participating in my blog sale with me. I love you so much. I was hoping the kittens would come through here so you could see them, but they took off. I don't know, something spooked them. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.